So first you, you learn the pattern, you go through the pattern. Any pattern, same set. Okay, you can go the, through the pattern and then you go basics, qua, shoulders, make sure you're not doing weird stuff. Bring the chi out your bum, you don't want to be golem, okay, you want to be, look like the young style. Which doesn't mean it's exactly the same as the form, but it has the qualities of the form. Open, upright, the regal nature of Yang Style. It doesn't do weird movements. Yang Style doesn't do any of that. It's always just, right? That's its nature. So you have its nature. And then you gradually start refining so that at any time you can make your body in such a way that you can control them and produce power. Now, from the coarse to the subtle, you just go through the pattern and you use the repetitive nature of the pattern to produce accuracy in your body. Oh. Now, the key point is the consciousness, the chi, the jin. Consciousness, chi, jin. Now, if you go through it with momentum, with lack of awareness, you're not impregnating consciousness into your movement. Right? It's stupid movement. Now, it is not brain. It is not brain movement. It is not thinking. Thinking is not the answer. It has to be thought free and empty so consciousness can saturate the movement, not thinking about every little angle. It's not you're doing the push hands and I think, but what if I did this and he moves and then what's the answer? It's too slow. It's never going to work like that. It is a saturation of your consciousness into the movement. So the intelligence of the chi, the intelligence of the body, the kung fu that you've built, the animal that you built reacts on time. Reacts on time. It happens naturally, spontaneously, and thought free. The mistake is to think, okay, we don't want to think, so then we're just sort of mechanical? No. Or we don't want to be mechanical, so we think. You don't want to be mechanical and you don't want to think. You want the consciousness to saturate into your body and into the movement. So when you're doing it, let's say we're doing it and he moves randomly and quickly. <laughs> you can, your body adapts, the jinn adapts, things change in real time. Because of the intelligence of the chi, which has saturated the body and makes the jinn act intelligently. Because you can't do fancy stuff in real time. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. So the thinking process type training, thinking I'm going to do something complicated, doesn't work. And the no thinking, unconscious training works, but you never achieve what Yang style is meant to be about. Okay? So that means when you're going through the pattern, be quiet. Switch it off. If you stop talking, you can start listening. And the listening, people think it's like, I listen so I know what he's doing and I can adapt to his forces. No, it's not that at all, actually. It's more that you listen to yourself. You can't listen to them anyway. You can only listen to how they affect you. That's really what you're feeling, as we discussed earlier. So you listen to yourself a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot. <coughs> and it saturates your body until your body becomes conscious, intelligent. Your body becomes Kung Fu. Not, I try to do Kung Fu, okay? So try with a new partner and try to be quiet. Be quiet and saturate and get inside and I can tell when you're doing it because the room changes. <laughs>